2025, man. Watch the good girl sports TV, bro. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Finally watched the Deontay Wilder interview with uh with PBC and Ray Flores, I think it was. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, button, share the video. Pulling for the champ in the second and the third fight, man. Um, he seemed he seemed to be vested in cheating and cheating. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, button, share the video. My biggest thing is this: Why couldn't you prove that they cheated? If I was in the my hearing about, oh, that's way, that's way. You see that nigga way? <laughs> but if, why couldn't Al Heyman pull out all the stops to prove that he cheated? Because they knew in the first fight, excuse me, that Tyson Fury gloves was flopping. They knew in the first fight. In the second fight, he thought he was going to come in and knock him out. My point is, it should have never got to this point. And everything that he's doing is being predicated on cheating. And if, in, in the second and third fight, going to prove he cheated or not. Even if he, if he did cheat it. And if he didn't cheat. But, he talked about, uh... Malik Scott and bring him Malik on. He been knowing Malik for what they say 15, 13 years and how they was in the camp with Thomas Adamick for the Klitschko fight. Most of you non boxing motherfuckers know, didn't even know that fight happened. And um uh, and saying that he cooked for his family and all of that and then he moved on about uh he just moved on about various things, man, and um firing Mark Breland, he said that everybody wanted him to fire Mark Breland when he finally did you know, people start, you know, people start reneging on it. And people, because, because, because people know he saved his, saved your life. That's what it boiled down to. If you wasn't, this is, he just, a lot of things that he's saying is hypocritical. What I mean by that is, if he cheated and you know you took your mask off, he said that, um, that you didn't feel right, but you still went in on a war, like a warrior. Then why, why won't you thank Mark Brilliant for stopping the fight? That's my thing. Why won't you thank Mark Breen? Like, thank you, man. Someone right. He put he saved years off your life. He saved years off your career. But then he wants to say he, he he did this, he put this in my drugs, and but then he sit here and make excuses up for Jay Diaz. Well, Jay Diaz didn't know who to look for. But he said somebody that he affiliated with to look at gloves. He's a nice guy. He didn't know what he was looking at. But if y'all niggas knew, it's just not adding up to me. If you knew, if you knew that the gloves was floppy in the first fight. And JD has watched the gloves in the front. Why the fuck wouldn't you go hire a brother like Brother Nazim or, or Elvis Grant or somebody to come in there to make sure the gloves was right? Just things not adding up to me. They knew in the first fight that the gloves was floppy. I know that for a fact. So why didn't y'all go on in the second fight and prove, and prove that? It sounded like he was overconfident. He was cocky. He was bonding to what people were saying about the, the long count nigga. He don't know shit about the history of boxing. Apparently, that ain't the worst long con that we didn't see. Buster Douglas, Mike Tyson. It's been a ton of questionable count. I done seen a, a motherfucker throw the towel in the Arthur mechanic, take the towel and throw it back in the corner, ask the fighter, do he want to continue? Come on, man. That's my whole thing with Deontay, bro. Shut the fuck up and just do it like Nike said. Just do it. Just prove it. Because you can save all this dialogue you got right now. You can just take it, side, turn it sideways, shove it up your candy ass. Wait till after the fight to prove to say what you got to say. Why now? Why not? Why sway, why sway motherfuckers that's going to bet their money in the fight? Let the odds go up as high as motherfucking Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa. Let them go all the way up. You and your team take your money bet if you really believe that way. Don't say nothing. Let the odds continue to go all the way up. Because right now, look at Deontay. Right now, Deontay, the plus two fifty. That's that's not too bad. It's not too bad. He's a plus two fifty on DraftKings, right? That's, I don't think FanDuel got it yet. So let's just look at some other other fights that's up. Let's group tonight. I'm prove y'all something. Prove y'all something. 
be our little billing. So we got the line. So my TL is a plus twelve hundred. That means if you believe my TL gonna win, you bet a hundred, you win twelve hundred. While uh, Jamel Charlo is a negative two two hundred two thousand twenty four hundred, right? I mean you gotta bet twenty four hundred to win a hundred, right? Uh, some fights. Camboso is a plus two six plus sixty plus six seventy. You gotta bet a hundred to win six seventy. Tiafima Lopez is a negative to a hundred. You gotta bet to a hundred to win a hundred. Um, Pacquiao Spence odds. Pacquiao on there is a two twenty five, which saw it was the other odds was a lot higher. Spence is a negative three thirty four. You gotta bet three thirty four to win a hundred. For on Spence, you gotta bet a hundred to win two fifty. I seen Pacquiao as high as almost five hundred. So, like I said before, Spence is a uh, Wilder is a bigger underdog than Manny Pacquiao. They still got the Wilder. They, they still got Joshua Fury three odds up there. Fury was a negative seven forty. That means you gotta bet seven hundred and forty dollars. Seven hundred negative seven hundred negative one hundred seventy four. You gotta bet one hundred seventy four dollars to win a hundred. Anthony Joshua was a plus 30, 100, 138. You got to bet 100 to win 138. So that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. So that's what the deal was there. Um, so, I mean, you know, Wilder's a nice little underdog, but it's not crazy. It's not crazy on FanDuel. Uh, I mean, on uh, bet whatever we was on. Or DraftKings, excuse me. But um, my whole thing is just shut up to after the fight. You can do a whole interview with whoever you want to do and explain what happened. Once you win, right now, you know, you're not swaying people to, to be on your side. All you're doing is swaying people to tune in and see what happens. You know, and if you get your ass whipped again, they're going to lose all them videos against you. You thought you was hated today. Wait till tomorrow. You was hated. On that day, you hated. Just go in there and get the job done. It's simple as that. Go in there and do the job. Now, the Tyson Fury seemed a little bit of, uh, you know, he talked about his father, you know, being nervous and wanting him to drop the belt. He got behind his father, got confidence, you know, automatically he was scared for his life, and then he was betting everybody, and he was using that juju, uh, gypsy juice, whatever he was saying, but, um, when yeah, Tyson Fury did say, he, you know, for somebody that had that much dominance, it is kind of, uh, fishy, they had that, he had that much dominance over Tyson Fury, I mean, Tyson Fury had that much dominance over Wilder, and then, you know, he, 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 he turned his phone off the camp, he wanted to get serious, so to me, I I gotta I gotta say it's it's smoke. If there's smoke, there's fire, and it seemed a little fishy that Tyson Fury got to go into camp and get so serious. And then when he's about to fight Anthony Joshua, they were so happy, they were so upbeat. He was in the gym with his drawers on, him and his trainer, shout out to Sugar Hills, my guy. They was wearing Versace shirts and all that shit. When he about to fight Joshua, he's in the he, he he was you know he was all in there in the camera and the video, did it bopping and all that stuff. He was doing all that shit. Take that, take that, take that. All that. You know, he was very confident. He was very talkative when he was going to fight Joshua. And then when it came to Wilder, his whole mood just changed. We got to get serious. We got we, we, we to gotta get serious in this thing. We, we got to get serious, man. You know, and he up. Come on, that, man. Come on. That, that. His mood did change quicker than quick. His mood did change. Quick. Quick, he was all man. He was all serious. He was serious. So it, there, there is, there is. Some, it sound like this. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say there is some truth to what Deontay Wilder saying. There is some truth to it because Deontay, I mean, Anthony Joshua, excuse me, is breathing, is breathing life into it. Anthony Joshua is basically solidifying what he's saying. I'm turning my phone off. Don't call me. I'm going to training. I'm going deep into training. He didn't even do that the first time. I need. I know people that see him training for the first fight at El Capitano Gym in Vegas. You know. So what changed? Why is he? Why is he going into deep? Why is he going into into training camp and being quiet? And when he's about to fight Joshua, he's doing all these videos and shit. And when it's time to fight Wilder, the mood changed. Could it be he respecting Wilder? True. You know. Two, could it be that he cheated? True. Three, could it be that he don't want to fuck up that $75 million Anthony Joshua bag? That could be true. All three could be true. One or three could be two. Two or three could be true. But uh, it, it do seem a little fishy that that he kind of, you know, somebody had dominance. And usually in boxing, when somebody had that amount of dominance, they partying, they enjoying life, they, they uh, 
It maybe could, and also four could have been um, um, the lack of uh, fights, lack of activity. He always preaching that, but um, but yeah, for Deontay, it's just you know, to me, simply just shut the fuck up and prove it, because he go in there and get down on you again like that. He said, "I'm a warrior, and I couldn't even knock me out." Nick, you had blood coming from your ear. You had blood coming from your mouth. You had a motherfucker licking the blood off your neck. Man, I'd rather got knocked out. Cold. i rather got knocked out cold. Motherfucker licking off your neck and you can't do nothing about it. That's worse than a knockout. A knockout, at least you can bounce back from an, a, a, a regular knockout. You can bounce back and they put it down as a TKO. You can, you, you can bounce back from a regular knockout. But the way he was licking on your neck and you was bleeding from your mouth, your ears and shit, come on. By that man throwing the, throwing the tile in, you owe him some money. You owe him some money. Because he saved years of your life, he saved years of your career. And that's just a fact. But the interview is not necessary. When you win, you come back. You come back, right? You do the interview, tell her, and you everybody gonna be eating it up, even your haters. Everybody gonna be eating it up. Everybody gonna be eating it up. Cause it's true, cause you gonna prove by you whooping them in the ring that he cheated the first one. And most people minds gonna think you and most people mind they're gonna think you won all three. And if Fury win, they're gonna think he won all three despite the first being a uh being a draw. So why not shut up, go in the gym, go into rogue mode like Tyson Fury. Fury making 60%, uh, 20% more than you, 60-40. And why don't you go out there and take the Joshua setting $5 million? Why don't you shut up and just go to work? Why y'all putting all this dancing video in the ring? Y'all niggas supposed to be about business. This supposed to be about a big payback. You supposed to be serious. Dancing in the ring, doing all that shit, putting all this shit on social media. You ever heard about moving in silence? What did Lil Wayne say? Real G's moving in silence like lasagna? Shut the fuck up. Stop putting these videos on social media. Just work. Don't let them get the drop on what you could be doing or what you're going to be doing. Because hey, I know you watch football. Have you, ever, have you ever noticed? Have you ever noticed? Did you ever see back in the Super Bowl where the Cowboys played the Bills in the 90s? And the TV cameras was filming? And it just so happened to catch the Bills to do the shovel pass, right? And that's how the Cowboys pretty much beat them because they watched film and they seen them doing the shovel pass. Had the TV fan, had Buffalo not allowed them to, to tape their practice and see what they was doing. They probably beat the, they probably killed, the, they probably killed the Cowboys for the with the shovel pass. They probably win the game. We not, we probably won't talk about them losing three or four, whatever, three straight Super Bowls, whatever it was. You know, we wouldn't be talking about that. Hold on, let me pull up. Hold on. I want to get this right. I was just watching Malcolm here not too long ago. Four. They lost four in a row. All the NFC East teams. You know, four in a row. Four in a row. That's my thing about it. Just be quiet, man. Don't don't let them know what you could be working on. That little double hook to the body, a little stick to the to the body. They watching that shit. And they learning how to counteract that shit. A little straight jab to the body. Like Malik said, you take a half step two. I mean a step two steps back. Step over. Reset. They see you trying to go to the body, gonna be prepared for that. They say when you throw the jab, when you throw the jab, you drop your back hand and you bring the jab back low. They seeing that stuff. And, and I can give you an honest assessment of, of what he's doing. I don't see the niggas dancing. So look. Look how he throw that jab and that jab, his jab hand come back low. Just look. Even when he, he did jab, jab, and dipped and brought it low. Tyson Frigo come with a left hook. 
His legs is terrible. But he punching, he punching quick. But Malik gotta tell him. Malik gotta tell him, stop blowing up on everything. Just touch. You know, but hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, call, response, your video quest, all my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fast way to reach me, then Facebook, then Instagram. You gotta advertise your big channel, video quest, whatever it may be. Links there. Wanna make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best of the donation, share your view. Let me know what's in the comment section, please. Belief about no, I'm on the phone. Yeah, yeah. You're looking at my baby. No, no. No, I ain't looking at him, man. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring and shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him. All right, appreciate everybody for supporting the channel, man. Everybody that's been here since day one. But if you want to continue to support the channel, you want to continue to see me go to these fights, man. Um, I appreciate if you do donate to the channel. Now you have several ways to donate, and you can like the channel, you can share the channel, um, you can subscribe to the channel. Most of you guys do that on everything, but financially, if I'm gonna go to Wilder Fury, Spence Pacquiao, and all the big fights, and I'm only entertaining going to the big, I'm only interested in going to the big fights. I'm gonna need you guys support. You can reach me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anytime for any you know advice or you want to advertise your business on channels. Another way you help support the channel. I do want to work with businesses and all that. But if you want to make a donation? Donation. Cash App is CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link is in the description as well too. Appreciate it. Peace.